Hey, hello, your stock Travis Wolf Gorlick, couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at establishing requirements for logging as part of baking security in. You know, the other day I was talking about the Columbia Sportswear attack and uh, doing a threat model on it and deciding that one of the key controls was hey, enable logging on the exchange system. And of course, the concern there is well, 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 wait a minute. If I enable in depth logging on my exchange server like that, uh, my mail server may just tip over. <laughs> what do you think this is, Gmail? Uh, you know what I mean? There, there is always that concern. So the tip for you is to set up the requirements for logging and these types of things early on in the process. So if you think about the life cycle of a new project, uh, when you are gathering functional requirements, uh, when you are determining what properties that the system may, may have, what benefits, what business processes is going to perform, what the benefits thereof are. Uh, another thing is, hey, given this data, what are our legal requirements, right? If it's payment data or health data or whatever. Uh, given this data, what is our attack profile, given the value of stealing this data to the attacker? And coming out of looking at things like this, you define a list of requirements. And one of those requirements should be uh, the level and granularity of logging. It's vital, 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 vital to establish these logging requirements early on in the process. I know we go back and forth about should security be baked in or bolted on and there's pros and cons to each, but here's one where it's, it's so imperative that uh, the requirements be set up front because, uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you don't, imagine you have a file server and suddenly you realize you need to enable file level logging. Right? You click it on, and now everything crawls to a halt. Not good. And then you get user support tickets and everything else. Uh, I've ran file servers where, enterprise grade file servers, where we did full level uh, Windows auditing on a file server. And we had to tune the logs, there was things that had to be set up, and the logging file was actually, I think it was stored in SSD to make it a little bit quicker. And there was a lot of process that went into getting that tuned so that it would not impact the users. But determining that, testing that, and playing with that and getting it right before the end consumer got to it was really the secret to the success. Same exact thing goes for email logging, same exact thing goes for application logging. The list goes on and on. Every log gives you an opportunity as a defender to catch the bad guy, right? Every log entry is one more point the bad guy has to avoid to attack us, right? But every log entry has a performance cost and a maintenance overhead cost. So the balance there is making sure that you spend those costs wisely, making sure that you spend those costs at the right time, and making sure that you're logging things uh, that are pretty likely to happen so that we can catch the criminals in the act. Uh, do it up front. <laughs> that's that's the sub of this video. What do you think? Have you uh, have you witnessed you know enabling logging at the wrong time, bringing down systems, or do you have some good guidance on the right ways to uh, define log requirements? Hit me up in comments on social media. Thanks so much.